Hi everyone, it's Yahweh here. Welcome back to my channel. I got a haircut yesterday, so it's looking really fresh. Uh, anyway, I'm at home right now. I'm just filming at home and actually from now on, I'll be mostly filming at home because um, I was told last week that I can no longer film in a store anymore because of licensing issue. Um, so yeah, I'll try to figure out a way to create content from home. Um, but currently, we're actually kind of in between season right now, so we're facing out SS21 and then we're still waiting for the launch of uh, Fall Winter 21. So there's actually not a lot of uh, new product in the store right now. Um, so I thought that to fill in the gap um, during this time, I will maybe highlight some of my personal collection. And um, since there are a lot of Rogue fans out there, I'll start out by highlighting my Rogue 25. Okay, so I got uh, this Rogue in 20, I think 2017. So you can see there's still the, uh, the key hood. This is probably the second generation uh, Rogue. Uh, it's in the pebble leather. Okay, and black, classic color. There's nothing in the bag right now, so it's a little bit slouching. Um, comes with uh, two shoulder straps. Uh, I don't use the shoulder straps a lot, so normally I just kind of remove them um, and keep them in the dust bag separately. Um, but what I like most about Rogue is the handle. The handle is quite substantial. So, and it's solid. It has a very nice grip. And uh, even with my tote bag, I tend to just like carry it by the handles. I don't really like to have it over my shoulder or crossbody. Um, I think I've mentioned previously in other video that it just, whenever you wear the bag, it always kind of, I, I just keep wanting to adjust my shirt, uh, my apparel, because whatever you wear over, over your shirt, it just always kind of wrinkle it and whatever so uh, with the rogue it's perfect I can just carry it by the handle has a nice grip um, that's probably my personal favorite feature of the bag and um, I personal I didn't customize this bag because uh, I kind of like you know even though I'm all for coach create customization but sometimes I do prefer, I am, you know, still a more leaning to a more minim minimalistic uh, aesthetic. So, but I do like how uh, with Coach, there's a lot of accessories um, and different options where you can still personalize the bag uh, to make it unique. So as you can see here, this is actually a Christmas ornament. So you can see it looks like that. So you can loop it around the any D ring, um, yeah. So every I think every holiday season you can kind of keep an eye out. We'll have these like ornaments. They're actually for uh -huh, decorating the trees, but you know you can. It's really cool. It's made in leather. It's super light. So on the back side, it's usually plain where you can like monogram it with your initial and your personal choice of motif I almost always go with the glasses as you can see uh, it's very similar to my uh, Oliver people and my initial depending on the space sometimes I just go by YW or in this case I feel like I can have two letters on each side of the symbol so uh, you know, I my my uh, Instagram handle is byyw, so it kind of stands for by Yahweh, like made by Yahweh, and that's kind of like my personal logo there. Um, chosen the color of the black with brown to kind of match the, because when I picked this, I was already thinking about using it on the rogue, so even though there's no black on this ornament uh, it's a more brown color um, I thought I can pick the motif in the black to match the bag and also to match my glasses and then the initial in the brown so I really like this uh, the baseball 
Uh, I love watching baseball when I was a kid, and then also, as you can know, the reference to the glove tan, the baseball glove is uh, how coach develop its own leather tanning process. So, just a lot of reference to that uh, heritage there. So I thought it's super appropriate. The brown also kind of matched the honey color lining inside. So overall, I just I thought this works really well. Um, and then I added so one thing to note is that this is not the original hang tag. So this is actually the hang tag I take from my dinky bag. Um, the original one should be pebble leather, I think in black as well. Um, but so the story is that um, I had a black dinky that I customized with like a peri rivet style. Um, and then I uh, put monogramming on it as well. So this is actually originally from the dinky bag. So this is the monogramming that I did on the dinky bag. Um, but eventually I decided to give that dinky bag to my cousin. Um, so, but the hang tag is already monogrammed with my initials, yeah, and that's why I kind of switch it out with the uh, the broke hang tag. So this hang tag is actually from my dinky, uh, black dinky. And then later on, I also added a little bit of I don't know if you guys remember. There's one uh, one point in time we had like a, a cherry pattern uh, collection. So I did a few hang tags in that kind of design. And then I thought this would go with the uh, uh, with the rogue as well. And uh, yeah, and that's it. And you can see there's a, the key hood. This one doesn't have the little key in it because this is, I think, the second gen. So that there's actually not a lock for the zipper. Okay, like the first generation. This is what the bottom look like. Okay, a little bit of wear and tear. Feet, which is normal, but otherwise, overall, this is in pretty good condition. Uh, perfect size. So the 25, 25 this way. Um, we talk about how like a lot of the smaller bags are like from 20 and under, and with that, you can already already accommodate most of your essentials. So with the Rogue, it's actually, as you can see, the interior compartment is a little bit boxy. You will see the depth here. So it's actually a quite a nice size. Um, definitely not something that you can bring your maybe laptop or iPad with you, but you know, sometimes I have to bring like a compact camera. This can actually accommodate that with all the essentials I have. Normally for my personal preference, I don't like to fill up. Doesn't matter how big the bag is, I don't like to kind of fill it up. I always like to have a little bit of extra space. Um, that's just my personal preference. I don't like when my bag looks like it's fully packed because um, that just looks like a little bit too uh, cumbersome to me. Um, if I can look like it's quite effortless, like it's light, then that's kind of more the, um, you know, both for function and form, that's what I prefer. And I have two items here. This is the 1941 clutch, okay? This one, the clutch, I customize it. So normally it's plain, um, and I customize this with uh, peri rivets, okay, um, with tiger's eye. Tiger's Eye is the semi-precious stone options and I thought that just works really well with the stitching that we have. I also uh, monogrammed this. This is a smaller tag so I just kind of uh, add the one symbol there. And then this, I think this is from uh, my shoe, the back of my C101. Uh, C101 or other sneakers from Coach but I don't like to have like too much on my footwear because I might lose it so I remove it and just kind of uh, I like the feather okay so just kind of put it on the on the little clutch here as you can see my feather okay uh, anyway so uh, it comes with the, a wristlet but I remove it 
because sometimes it gets in the way when I have to pair it with it's perfect when I just use it on its own um, but uh, if I'm gonna use it as uh, like a little organizer or like a wallet in a bag I normally will remove the wristlet um, and then just store it somewhere so yeah but the inside you can see this is uh, if you custom you customize your bag the, on the inside of the flap this is what it looks like okay kind of creating a pattern of its own uh, what I love about this is everything is it's lined it's completely in leather so it's the inside is also lined with glove tan leather so this makes uh, cleaning a lot easier this is uh, iPhone 11 so it'll fit in there and that's why sometimes. Um, I just uh, take this with me as my like a little crossbody or a little um, a clutch, okay? Because you can actually accommodate all your essential in there, and then you also get a zipper compartment. So with the zipper compartment, sometimes I actually um, it depends. Everyone you put different things in there, but sometimes I like to put my keys in there because, like I mentioned before, uh, with the keys, sometimes it if you're using a lot of leather um, accessories, it might scratch the surface. So I like to keep it in like a, maybe a pocket to kind of store it. And also this is the inside is a canvas. So you don't have to worry about the scratch, scratching. Okay, so that's the 1941 clutch. If you have a 1941 clutch at home, uh, you want to kind of refresh the design a little bit, feel free to send it my way and then we can customize it with uh, pear rivets or you can also do tea roses or shivering and pin as well, okay? And the other items that I like to kind of pair it with my rogue is this one, car case. So this is uh, this is a men's car case, okay, and you probably see a different uh, variation in color and slightly different style right now. Um, I find that this is one of the most versatile piece or small leather goods that we have. Uh, you have one, two, three, four, five five card uh, slots uh, and then you have a uh, zipper compartment and this is actually lined with leather this is also in glove tan i actually between pebble leather and glove tan i personally prefer the glove tan leather i really don't mind the scratches and the wear the marks that are normally more visible on glove tan uh, i just i like that as part of the character this car case um, sometimes if i need to bring for example like um maybe a small compact camera just more items then i will switch out to a more compact uh, wallet or car case so that way i can kind of maximize all the space i have in there uh, but if I'm not really bringing too much, then I can, you know, um, use this as a organizer and then uh, put it in there. And yeah, so different ways to kind of organize your items when you're using a bag. But I thought that you might be interested in knowing that you can kind of, you know, match your accessories with your bags so these two are kind of my examples as you can see i'm very kind of black is my go-to choice and um yeah but that's that's it uh this one i'm not sure if you can see it it kind of faded a little bit but i did put a monogramming of the um the glass glasses motif on here but as you can see, um, when it first when I first stamp it, it's quite more visible. But now after using it for a while, um, it just kind of disappeared. But that's just how it is. Um, but yeah, um, the usually I'll recommend customer choosing the leather lining just because if you 
need to put coins in there uh, once in a while I would recommend that you still take everything out and clean it uh, and leather just makes cleaning a lot easier okay so that's it for the video on my rope 25 and matching accessories okay um, yeah let me know what you think um, maybe share some story about your own personal rogue or you know other kind of uh, discontinued um, SLG or whatever okay um, same thing leave any feedback or comment in the comment below so that's it for now uh, stay safe and I will see you in the next one